Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the head of Dacosaurus. Its head was very distinctive. At first glance, it looked like a very ferocious animal. Its head was heavy and thick, and its eyes were big but listless, looking straight at the audience like a ruthless killer. In our drawing, we should show this expression. Besides, we need to pay attention to some other details, such as the rich structures on its teeth, and the variable structures above its eyes, which will use thin lines to show them. When drawing, we use relatively thick lines to show the big structures, and thin lines to show the small structures, so as to keep the picture full of layers. Now let's get started. We begin with its mouth. Although Dacosaurus and crocodiles were related biologically, the head of Dacosaurus looked thicker and stronger than that of any crocodile nowadays. Like modern crocodiles, the mouth of Dacosaurus was crooked. In this position, let's draw the muscles between its upper jaw and lower jaw. After that, we continue to draw its lower jaw. There were muscles at the second part of its lower jaw, so it looked very stout. Dacosaurus had a bulging bone above its eyes, which could keep them in protection. Like modern crocodiles, behind its eyes, there were its oblique and long ears. Next, let's draw its eyes. It had deep eye sockets, and its eyes were different from those of modern crocodiles. Modern crocodiles have their eyes on the top of their head, but the eyes of Dacosaurus were still on the two sides of its head. Let's draw its nostrils at the front. Its nostrils were in an upper position, which made it convenient to breathe out of the water surface. Then we draw the bone above its eyes. We can design its eyes like those of modern crocodiles, which are bloodshot, and its pupils are vertical like a cat's. After that, let's draw its teeth. The first few teeth were small, but in the middle of its mouth, its teeth began to become huge. The midmost one was the biggest. Toward the back, they became smaller and smaller. So were the teeth on its lower jaw. The teeth in the front were small. Toward the back, they became bigger. Now let's draw the teeth on the other side. When drawing, we need to note that viewed from the front, the teeth of Dacosaurus pointed outward laterally, that is, its teeth stretched obliquely outside, so when we draw its teeth on the two sides, we should note that the directions are different, especially, viewed from this angle, the left teeth faced to the left, and the right teeth pointed inside. Next, let's draw the inside of its wide open mouth. We can draw a deep oral cavity with shadows inside. Then, let's draw the pit of its masseter. When many reptiles close their mouths, the muscles of the lower jaw will be pushed into this pit. We move on to draw its tooth root. Like crocodiles, these teeth are directly exposed without protection from its lips. Its uneven gums were wrapped by pieces of flesh, just like this, resembling modern crocodiles. The face of Dacosaurus 
might be made up of large scales or scale-like skins, which extended to its teeth. After determining the general shape, we can add details. There were bones above its eyes, but the surface of these bones was covered by hard keratins. Now let's draw the soft tissues, which wrapped the teeth on its lower jaw. On the teeth of Dacosaurus, there were many such growth marks, making them look layered. This structure was caused during the tooth growth. Now, let's strengthen its masseter to make the muscle look plumper. Then, let's move on to its throat and draw it smooth. As it was a marine animal, generally its body should look round. Good like this, we've finished drawing the head of Dacosaurus.